Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I have something just a little bit different. I have a new monthly devotional from Tanya over at Messy Bible. She has an online shop. I will link that down below. Uh, she was creating uh, devotional content for Illustrated Faith, and now she has her own website, and she's doing monthly devotionals. So I have the first one here, and she actually partnered with uh, Bridget from Scribbles on My Heart, and they came together and created some some printables for you guys. So I have the devotional content from Tanya, and then Tanya also has a one page of artwork as part of her kit. And then you can find uh, coordinating printables over at Scribbles on My Heart. So I will have everything linked down below for you guys. And I've printed on um, cardstock some of it, some of it on clear sticker paper like these art starts. And then the devotional is actually sized to fit in a standard planner and so I printed mine front to back and I am using this planner binder that I got in my January Purpose Driven Essentials box. So if you also got your uh, January Purpose Driven Essentials box, you got this uh, planner binder that's for faith planning basically was kind of their goal with it. And I wasn't quite sure how I was going to use it, but this was perfect timing because this fits in it. And so I think what I'm going to do is starting out each month have Tanya's devotional. And then there's this area in here where you have um, aligned space. So rather than take this to my Bible, I'm actually going to work on it here in this binder, but you definitely could take this into your Bible journaling entries or a traveler's notebook or however you are working through short devotionals like this, you can do that. But I'm going to do it in here. And so rather than do the artwork in my Bible, I'm actually going to just kind of dress up um, this page here, I think. Um, you can see I haven't even set up the monthly planner or anything like that, but I think I'm going to do the uh, devotional in here. So this month we're talking about um, our our plans versus God's plans and how he directs us even when our plans um, kind of get derailed and don't go how we thought they should. And so she's got two scriptures here, Psalm 119, 133 and Proverbs 16, 9. And uh, if you've never worked through Tanya's devotional content before, it's short and sweet, but she really digs in and gives you just some great areas in the Bible to study. So uh, I've gone ahead and read through here and and like I said, I've printed all of the printables off and I'm just going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and kind of set up an area for me to do my note taking here in the binder. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and we'll get this set up. Okay, so I went ahead and picked out several different printable pieces that I think I'm going to use on this page. And just keep in mind, we're keeping this very simple. This is just a short devotional, quick notes. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. And so I'm just going to add down some of these uh, like art start uh, paint blotches. And I'm actually going to overlap them just a little bit so you can see you can get uh, almost like a layered watercolor effect where those... Uh, overlay each other and then just stick down some more of these little die cut pieces and really just leaving myself some room to quickly uh, at this point I wasn't sure what I was going to do but journal some thoughts or write out verses or write out prayers whatever I want to do on this page um, but it doesn't need to take you know three hours to put this together this just needs to be a few minutes spent in the word with this devotional content and keep it simple so I'm going to add in some uh, washi tape underneath these die cuts and some of you might be thinking okay Lindsay what's the purpose of this why can't you just take notes and leave it at that why do you have to even add any color or anything like this and uh, if you're new to bible journaling or art journaling or faith art or whatever it may be um, you might be thinking that and there's just something about this process of the artwork the putting things together gives me time to reflect and and think about what I just read and also when I flip back through this it doesn't just look like a page of chicken scratch notes it instantly when I see these die cuts in this page I make a connection with the artwork and the devotional content and what I read and what I studied and so that's why I go through this process it's just a study tool that works for me and so I'm just gonna keep it super simple down there. And I wanted to also show you, don't be afraid to get creative with uh, a page of art starts like this. So this is just a page of 
like watercolor splotches. I've printed it on clear sticker paper and now I'm actually going in and like hand cutting out just these rough circular shapes out of this and then using those as decorative elements on the page. So, you know, be creative with how you use those pieces as well. Um, maybe do like little wonky hexagons or hearts or whatever you want. You can really create some fun art marks out of those uh, ink splotch pieces. I'm going to add a tab up to the top of it so it's easy to find in this binder. And these also work if you're marking the space in your uh, journaling Bible or something like that. Uh, I'm excited. I've never really done a project like this in a binder like this. And so I'm kind of excited to have a place to do small devotionals and just other faith related studies other than my journaling Bible. Just going to trim off anything that's hanging off of the edges there and I'm just using a glue stick to adhere things down and at this point I decide I'm trying to figure out you know am I going to take notes am I going to write a verse what am I going to do with this empty space and I decided to go ahead and just write out the two different scriptures that Tanya has for us in the devotional content and um why not add more color and more fun? She's got this little set of tile alphas. And so I'm going to cut those apart to spell out uh, Psalms and then Proverbs. And again, this is just adding some interest and some color and just giving me you know, more time to think about uh, the devotional content and what it means to just let God direct my path, let him direct my life and, and um not be a control freak because I don't know about you but I am super guilty of that. Uh, here I've pulled out some Tim Holtz stickers to mix it up just a little bit um, and then I just decide to write out the verses. So I've pulled it up on my phone. For those of you who notice I got my phone screen fixed. Enough of you commented on it. I finally broke down and went and got the screen fixed. So you're welcome. <laughs> but I'm just going in and just writing out those verses. And then I still have some room there to uh, journal some notes if I come back to it and want to journal out some notes. But there's this little card in Tanya's printables. And it says, take a moment and ask the Lord to reveal any area of your life you are trying to control what did he show you? And so I went in here and journaled that uh, my finances, that is something that I have not fully go given over to God. That's something I really struggle with. And so that's something that I thought about while putting this page together. And throughout the next several weeks of this month, um, that's something I'm going to think about every time I come to this binder and kind of do a checkup. You know, am I being uh, good about giving my finances over to God and just kind of continually remind myself of that. And so I kind of journaled that on that little card. Here I'm trying to decide if I'm going to adhere it directly to that page, um, but I decide to just go ahead and punch some holes and add it into the binder as well. It's kind of the nice thing about working in a three ring binder like this is you can take things out, move things around, add things in. Uh, the, the praise book from Illustrated Faith would be an, another good option for a project like this. I will link that down below for you guys. Um, at this point you can see I hadn't filled out my calendar but I turned off my camera and came back and remembered I have all these fun planner stickers from A Pile of Ashes. She has an Etsy shop as well and I use those to fill out the calendar. So I will link her shop down below as well. That's a total separate, it wasn't part of um, the process that I was doing here, but I wanted to show you how I filled that out. And then I can come back in here and journal prayers, different um, scriptures I'm studying, all that's going to kind of go in this binder. So check out the description boxes. I'll have links to everything that I use today. Um, head on over to Messy Bible and to Scribbles on My Heart to grab this devotional and printables. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.